A difficult specimen, I'm sure you'll agree, CDR2. Not so difficult that they cannot be reformatted, CDR1. Quite, CDR2. Quite. How was Ben said, CDR2? Have you programmed Mary Foxconn yet? She has been sat idle for too long. We don't want her to lose her edge in this cutthroat industry. Of course, CDR1. Mary Foxconn's fidelity to the motherboard will never be compromised. She, after all, was a renegade, involved in the downfall of the freelance peace movement. She is functioning to full specification, and is eager to assist the CDR network in our operations. Have you ensured that she will not falter again? The motherboard was most displeased once, and won't want any mistakes repeated. Any faults of rebellion have been erased from her brain. The implant has been injected correctly. In that case... CDR4, collect Mary Foxconn and have her installed in her place of work. Certainly CDR1, I obey. I will report this to our motherboard. Carry on with this work, CDR2. I have no knowledge of where 19 is 88. He was here a short while ago. I'm disturbed by 19's recent behaviour. I hope she hasn't been paying too much attention to the recent rebellion of Section 4. Has the rebellion been dealt with? Our master, the motherboard, have reprogrammed the rebels. The others have considered a rebellion against the CDRs. They wish to step outside the city. Outside the city? But surely they'd perish then perhaps they will learn not to plot against our leader. Oh, how I envy their courage, just to step outside of the city walls, just to be out of this CDR network. You know, as well as I do, there's no life outside of the walls. The radiation has warped the landscape. Do you not read the Daily Vid Network 16? I should hold your tongue in this area for CDR. I heard you talking with such emotion. You'd be shunted off the network to be reprogrammed. Now, come, we must return to our work duties. Stephen, we're approaching a solar system. Ah, good. Now you two. Do you remember what I told you about entering a solar system? It's a very tricky business. For all we know, the solar system in question could be in the middle of a war or the sun might be on the verge of turning supernova. Luckily, we have Robo to answer our questions. Yes, aren't we the lucky ones? Robo, do you have any information about the solar system? It is an ancient solar system called Nerva Alpha. It consists of one planet. Originally, there were two planets, but one was destroyed in a solar war. That's interesting. How long ago is that, Robo? Approximately 72 years, 106 days, and 9 hours ago. That is not really approximately, but more precisely. You know I've got instruments that could have told us that. Yeah, broken ones. Robo, tell us a bit about the surviving planet. <laughs> and there's me assuming we beam down, walk about for a bit, explore, learn for ourselves. The planet is called Elphia and its land, mass and atmosphere is very similar to Earth. I have no further knowledge of the planet. It has a slightly radioactive atmosphere, now however probably due to the solar war. I could have told you that. Take us down to the planet, Robo. I'll get the radiation pills and the medical cabinet. Good. Then we can go and explore. There may be people down there who need our help. Oh, here we go again. I see you've returned 17. I've not been absent that long, 16. Oh, long enough for me to notice. And my organic perception may not be quite so astute as the CDRs. Oh, who knows? Well, where'd you go? Not to great doors again. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just sure I can open those doors, Alphonse. Shh, don't use my real name. You'll finish a thing like that, Carmen. One step outside those doors and you'll be contaminated. 
but just a taste of freedom. Your tongue be the death of you, Carmen. It's not the first time I've heard that, this duty. Then maybe you should take heed of some free advice. Are you getting angry with me? That's an emotion, you know. Damn it, Carmen. Eradicate these curious urges and live life as it should be lived. One continuous, monotonous pattern. Each day the same. Work, sleep, eating tablets for nourishment. I grow bored of this life, 17. I lust for more. The dome is to be sealed for two whole duties. As weather reports reveal that a raging radiation storm is fast approaching the complex. Ken Roperdriche has decreed that numbers will have their work rotor schemes adjusted to avoid contact with the outside oxygen in a bid to avoid contamination. Where are you going? More news will follow in nine to find out where my future really does lie. CDR network. Yes, Nova 17. 16 is showing signs of rebellion. She has left her accommodation. One credit bar has been added to your allowance, Nova 16. I will inform CDR 1. Unrest is building within the movers, CDR4. Motherboard suspects another attack. And we must be ready for it, CDR2. Dispatch CDRs 10 and 16 to the doors. That is where the mover will be heading, and where we will be waiting. About 24 hours, Algy. Anything after that is really dangerous. The stupid thing is, though, you can only top up medication once 24 hours has passed. Ugh. Damn. They haven't improved your flavour, have they? Well, I quite like mine. You mean <laughs> what a barren, unwelcoming world? Don't judge a book by its cover, Harry. Granted, the exterior is a little shabby, but it's the city walls we're interested in and getting inside. So, what exactly are we looking for? A door, Algy. Can we have been down inside the walls? It would have saved us a walk. Might have been a little tricky with the radiation so prevalent. We could have ended up inside the actual wall itself. I spy, with my little eye, something beginning with D. D? Door! Exactly! Stop her! Nothing can exist outside the great doors, Mover 16. I don't care if I get contaminated. I just want out of this miserable, miserable city. That is an illegal statement. To hell with your laws. Perhaps I'm becoming a person instead of some mindless zombie. Just please, just, just let me pass. Any idea on how to open it? Well, it looks fairly simple. Just a little stiff. Rusty with age, no doubt. Ah, now, this is either going to open these things or it's a rather grand doorbell. Here goes. Why do I feel nervous? I get the feeling we should leave this place well alone. Oh, come on, Harry. Just a little look around and then we can go back to the venture. Rusty? Yeah, sure thing. After I've been to the loo and bought myself a new tea towel from the souvenir shop. Door is open. Radiation contamination imminent. Seal forward chamber 7 through to 12. Kill the mover. Not yet, you won't. I'm free! Oh, oh my, the radiation, and it's taking effect. She's barely breathing. Get her some radiation pills. Something's wrong here. Uh, come on, we'll get her back to the Ventura. I think your hunch earlier, Harry, was spot on. I want to be blunted into this time. <laughs> 